With millions of people all over the world, we are sure you want to be informed with happenings in states, countries, and the world at large. At Lightcast TV, we bring you details of news in entertainment, politics, human angle stories, and crime. We also engage business owners who talk to us about their business. Perhaps you want to go into such business. What are the things you need to know? We also bring you life of party from traditional engagement, weddings, housewarming, birthday parties, and many more. Keep a date with all the happenings on Lightcast TV by subscribing to our channel. Many thanks for watching. Foremost Nigerian gospel artist Nathaniel Bassi and some of his team members narrowly escaped a fire outbreak. The multi talented musician, who is the anchor of popular daily social media prayer and worship session tag Alaria Challenge, shared the testimony of the encounter via his Instagram page. Nathaniel Bassi posted a photo of Bond's power generator set, revealing how it got fire mysteriously. Despite the fact it was purchased five days ago, it was our testimony of deliverance. The devil is such a loser. And what's the Yoruba called Agbaya? A plan to waste us, but God is always ahead. Shortly after we handed and doing our post HC prayers, this new gent says, barely five days exploded. Every time we have a high power service like this, he fights so hard, but keeps losing. And won't lane. We win always. Nollywood actress Chiamai Femme Ludi Kim has opined that some of the narrative and storylines of Nigerian movies have influenced youths to engage in ritual killings. In a lengthy post shared on her Instagram page, Chiamai Femme Ludi Kim said unemployment has significantly caused a high rate of ritual killings. Still, the government can control the evil pandemic if the youths are engaged and employed. Choma claimed that some celebrities' expensive and luxurious lifestyle that does not correlate with their income also directly or indirectly affect the youth. According to Choma, some of the lyrics by Nigerian singers mount pressures on younger ones, unlike the days of Oyeka Onwenu, Stephen Osadebe, Falakuti, and many others. In our words, as much as I agree that unemployment has greatly caused a high rate of rituals and this evil pandemic can be controlled if the youth are skillfully engaged or empowered by the quick money syndrome, the fake it till you make it mind safe, the expensive and luxurious lifestyle that does not correlate with your income, that you entertain a show of have also directly indirectly influenced these young ones. Let's have fun talk about our musical content. The lyrics of what you all musicians are promoting is mounting undue pressure on these kids. Come at the days when meaningful song from the likes of Oyeka Oweno, let's chief sitting a star of their Let's let me do a fellow and equal team. These were international award winning musicians who used every opportunity to teach impact society positively through their music. Some even after their death. Fast forward to them. You hear lyrics like, if you not get money, idea face. Now I would movies I was necessarily promoted rituals, but in my opinion, I think the problem here is the narrative circulated through these storylines that humans' blood sacrifice can make money start training in a secret room or inside a wardrobe. Can human sacrifice truly produce wealth? Even if it does, same knowledge would have shown in many storylines the consequences and repercussions of taking another person's life. The short and long story here is an idle man is the devil's workshop. Governments must, as a matter of fact, urgently engage and empower our youth. Veteran Hollywood actress and preacher Hikoria Anubi stirred the reaction of Nathan on Saturday after she announced admission into the University of Witchcraft. In a post shared on Instagram, Hikoria Anubi announced admission into the School of Witchcraft and the courses available include snatching of people's husband, lesbianism, bisexuality, use of kayamata, yahoo pro max, locking of sex tape, among others. Hikoria Anubi also talked with those who be their wife even when she is the breadwinner, cheats, and fails to pay their children's school fees. In our words, admission, admission, admission. This is a notice to the general public that the University of Witchcraft is now open for new students. Some of the courses methodology will be research and snatching your colleagues, husbands, or wife, understanding the principle of homosexuality, lesbianism, bisexuality, use of kayamata. I hope we are max looking at sex tape of your colleagues, calling the phone numbers of your church members instead of preaching the gospel of Jesus to them, pretending to be Christian in church, but being a lawyer on social media, 419. And please, if you have not submitted your project topic, how to beat your wife Miss Leslie, even if she is a breadwinner, how to cheat on her, how not to pay a children's school fees and pretend that men are promiscuous by nature, you will not graduate. Admission starts by 12 a.m. and closes till midnight and 14th February 2022. 
Key musicians and Nigeria film actor Wasio Abiodun Odetola, widely known as Pasoma, and his manager of many years, Matthew Idiowo Adewoye, are allegedly not on speaking terms at the moment. The bond of contention between the two, who is very close, is the later failure to give her account of certain sub of amount belonging to the musician, according to reports. Pasuma needed to execute some projects and when he requested the fund from his manager, Matthew could neither produce nor account for it. The alleged music fund, it was learned, were the present from bookings by Pasuma's clients over a period of time. Matthew Ididewo allegedly could not trace the fund, valued of several millions of naira, nor tell how it vanished from a bank account where it was supposed to have been deposited. The development did not go well with Pasuma. Not only is Matthew Pasuma's manager, the two share a bond, they are cousins. The musician allegedly reported the matter to the Nigerian police, accusing Matthew of investing his hard-earned money into his personal business. Matthew has reportedly owned up to his boss allegations against him. He says to have begged his friends to plead with Pasuma on his behalf. Some members of the family have also stepped into the matter, begging Pasuma to forgive his manager. But the first Jewish star insisted that Matthew must produce the missing fund or prepare to face the law. Matthew Hididewo has been around the music industry for over two decades. He has managed Pasuma accounts for 20 years and worked with other top Fuji musicians such as Abbas Okonde Obesewe, more popularly known as Omorakpala. Believed to have been good at what he does, he was managing Obesewe when Pasuma pushed him. Now their once rosy relationship appears to be over. Despite her celebrity status, Biodo Hokiowo, aka Omobotsim, Say she still mounts motorcycle better than as Okada. By footstep from the red side, repeats dresses and still lives a normal life. Speaking of the challenges she faces as an actress, the light skinned diva said, One of the challenges of being an actress is losing my privacy and not being able to do the things I used to do before. Also, having to be extra careful because people would say that this woman has a role model. However, there are some things I don't have compromise on, especially when it comes to not wearing out more than once because I'm an actress. That does not work for me because they are my clothes and I can wear them as much as I like. I love to be real. I don't ever want to be fake. If I bought a motorcycle and I see something I like by the website, I would stop and buy it. I don't care who sees me. Some people have seen me buying busted plantain and I don't care. Biodo Okio will also reveal the kind of role she will never play. I will never be cut acting like it. My experience in the industry has been beautiful, sweet and sour. Even the Bible says that the sky cannot be bright all the time because there will definitely be dark times. The mother of two also stated that she is now more focused on her business than acting. Coming into the industry in 2006 was so sweet and beautiful and I had a lot of expectations then. A few years later, I had some challenges that made me decide not to act again. I made up my mind to get into business. Afterwards, producers started requesting that I should feature in their movies. Then, I went back on set, but not like it used to be because a lot of things that happened had killed a bit of the passion in me. Right now, I salute the script I accept. I won't be going on set as I used to do because I am not into business which takes more about 80% of my time. Passion influences my decision to be an actress. Secondly, I dress it as a means of livelihood. Then, I think it runs in the blood because my dad used to be an actor. He was a member of Awarawa Theatre Group, Vichide Kosoko and others. She told Saturday Beats.